Okay. We're going to go right into like crazy. Might as well. I'm feeling uh, all the energy from what I just saw. So, uh, again, I'm going to watch it two times. First time where I don't pause or talk. Second time is where I will pause and talk about the things that I like and the like crazy dance practice. So, um, yeah, both headphones back on again. Here we go with Jimin's like crazy dance practice. Yeah, this is going to be a so... A so? This is going to be such a different vibe. Okay, I'm loving the closeness of this formation. Whoa, no, ooh, whoa. Woo, Jimin, okay! Oh my god, this magical effect. Yes. Ooh, that was a nice uh, transition. Yes. Mm. Ooh, that footwork. Mmm, group. Yes. Ooh, that was nice. Oh, oh, oh the hips. Yeah! Oh my god! That's so beautiful! Woo! Woo! Yes! Yes, sir? Woo! The highlighting of the breath! Whoa! More advanced dress walls! Okay! Woo! The heel toe! Heel toe! Yes! Okay, this duet dancing is so awesome. Yes! Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. Oh my oh. Yes! The duet dancers! This part is everything that I was hoping to see in this part of the song. Yes! Mm -hmm. Yes, I love that dun dun dun. Mm hmm. Woo! This dance looks so freaking fun. Yes! We return right back to the beginning. Mm. Okay, so the reason why I did the whole hmm at the end whenever I said return right back to the beginning. So from my perspective of like crazy, it definitely comes off meaning wise, comes off like a, uh, like it highlights a high basically. And not necessarily high off of a substance, high off of a feeling. I mean, that's what I got from the lyrics. And with that being said, I feel like that highlighted very well in the choreography as well. It's kind of like right in the beginning, you know, we have we start off with Jimin solo and all of a sudden he gets within this whole huddle, right? So it's almost like he took this high within this feeling that he got. He danced within it, kind of going along with the lyrics. And at the end, as any high, you come to a low, right? At the end, when the high fades and he's sober, he's kind of like back to the beginning where he started. So that's very, very interesting. Okay, oh my God, I've been filming for a long time. <laughs> so let me just get right to the second part where I will talk about the things I like and we'll be pausing as well. Just another warning. So here we go. Isn't this song just so freaking dreamy? And I feel like that nicely goes with this high effect. Lost in the high. Mm-hmm. 
seriously so nice for it to seem like art to do a storytelling of Jimin walking into this high, right? And the high kind of absorbs and takes over him. And they're all high together. And just to, you know, double check with y'all, whenever I say the word high, I'm not making any assumptions of substance high. I'm speaking metaphorically, okay? I'm trying not to get canceled here. But yeah, so after they got absorbed in this high and all of a sudden they're just living in this feeling, this high that you get. Mm -hmm. They're all connected. Mm -hmm. Flawless. After Jimin throws his arms and they all get up and then the, the female dancers twirl and go off and we're left with this group to go right into choreography. Okay, so I absolutely love that they decided to do this formation where they're spread out apart and facing different directions. It gives such a full 3D effect versus them all standing together and facing the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like he's all like Jimin, uh, another power movement. Look at his smile. He's so charismatic. So after he hits sad, the way the dancers kind of bleed out from behind him, it's a nice formation, very picturesque. Mm -hmm. And the whole when he freaking jumps into that uh musicality and he does this whole part, he kind of like uh, brings them back in, and then this whole damn effect after. Mm -hmm. So I really love the effect because I don't know if y'all have ever seen those filters. I've seen it on both TikTok and Instagram. But basically it's a certain filter where it's like when, okay, like let's say I'm here, right? And if I move all of a sudden my, uh, there'll be like an effect of like me moving, like a kind of like a slow delayed effect, you know, kind of like something very trippy. And I like that they chose to put that in the choreography to like to give this trippy kind of effect where they're kind of uh a delayed effect of what Jimin is doing and still following him because it's like th those filters being brought to life in choreography to go with this whole high feeling that you, that you get and the whole meaning of like crazy. See how they kind of follow him? Yes. And another flawless way of transitioning the dancers like the now the male dancers are off and the female dancers came back in by grabbing Jimin and pulling him in. This is like the feelings of i mean actually no i can't speak from experience because i'll be transparent with y'all i've never tried any kind of certain substance in my life but i definitely have drank and done what people under their 20s do especially when i was trying to discover myself and it was in all these feelings i was trying to uh, eliminate by uh drinking and partying and um you know when i say substance right it's not just you know certain drugs or certain alcohol it could be anything that could give you this high feeling it could be someone like finding a new group of friends and they fill a certain hole in your heart that you need it filled but it's very temporary because it's not really you facing your issue and i can speak from experience from this so um i like that he goes from one uh satisfied high to another one like it's like it keeps going throughout the song and that is done very well in this formation part yes see 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 again it's like him going to this new kind of quote-unquote substance right and they're all circling him and the way jimin is like being very characteristic about this he's really like absorbing just more more substance to continue on this feeling. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, that footwork, dun, 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 dun. I love that. So I also love the balance of not only storytelling of uh, him being sucked into different substances to keep within this feeling, but the balance of the choreography highlighting that musicality. Like, I really love that footwork. And I didn't get to say this enough about the first section with the male dancers and Jimin. The way they move in the choreography is so groovy. And of course, that fits with the grooviness of the song. I remember saying that the song makes me feel like I'm in a club somewhere. Okay. And it's been a long time since I've been in a club. <laughs> See? That footwork. Jimin making it look easy. And I love that as Jimin did the whole step, 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 step that almost pushed the female dancers out. See, it's like a nice 
creative way to change transition instead of them walking off for no reason. And sometimes when I see in choreography where people do just walk off and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just to keep up with this whole conceptual storytelling thing. I like that he pushed the dancers out and then the male dancers came back in. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's so groovy and fun. Yes. I really love that whole hand placement there. See the way he like this whole thing and then they like did this kind of like, I don't know, effect behind their head and then they went the this and then they do the thing. I mean, the same thing on the other side right here. Gosh, it, it's so like feeling. There's so much feeling. There's so much freaking texture. And again, I love as Jimin is living through his moment, we have the whole coupling, the duet dancers or whatever to kind of help define this feeling that I get from the meaning of like crazy. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So before I filmed this reaction, I specifically chose to not watch any kind of performances because I really wanted to get the feel of like crazy with the dance practice where I'm able to see everything. So that's why I think I said it in my first watch where I said this part is everything that I want to see with what I hear. The fact that they highlight, highlighted the whole duh, duh, and now all of a sudden Jimin gets up and they do like this domino to help like 3D effect. Remember how I spoke about when it was him and the male dancers doing that kind of uh, following effect very closely? I feel it this way here too with this domino. Let me go back. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, that's very interesting. Um, Because, you know, as they got up after this part is a domino, right? And when the dancers get added on choreography wise, it's kind of like a domino as well. See, domino, see, domino from the middle, then all of a sudden the dancers right next to them, then the dancers right next to them. So it's like a domino from the front to the back, then from the inside to the out. So that's, that's trippy. That's very trippy actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that Jimin again from like Set Me Free, but of course this is a different aura and meaning. Jimin's straight in the middle, and then they have a mirrored effect. They're all doing this whole groove together. It's just a nice energy within this uh, party-like feel. Yeah, that arm thing. I, I remember bringing that up too. The dun 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 dun. Like the way they folded their arms there hits the musicality in the background really nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I hear the instrumental where it goes. Dun, dun, dun. So I like that their arm folds, like wraps around and all of a sudden they go into like this whole groove step, step here. Mm -hmm. Yes. I love that they highlighted the breath. More of this whole trust fall thing. And um, I find it also interesting that Jimin does do this like kind of far lean back and they're holding on to him. That highlights the kind of like the recklessness that one would feel if they do uh, keep, and again, I speak from personal experience and this is no judgment. I'm just speaking from experience. Whenever I kept chasing this high that I felt from either meeting new friends on top of new friends or uh, drinking or partying, basically doing everything I can to not uh, take self accountability and facing my issues and getting through them. Um, it was very reckless. Uh, that's how I felt a very reckless kind of a state of mind. So I like this whole him leaning back and them holding on to him because it's kind of a reckless thing, kind of a, a dangerous thing. But at the same time, when you're in that kind of state, danger is seductive. I, I don't know any other word to say other than that. And I'm saying that very respectfully. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gosh, the high thing to the it's so awesome. Like, who does a heel toe, heel toe that suavely? I, I don't know. Jimin got me making up words. I, I gotta print my own dictionary in order for y'all to understand. But seriously, the way he does like this heel toe and the way he puts in this feeling. Yes. See, watch. Mm. Yep. 
Yep, that's Jimin. And this whole duet dancing, I love it. I really love how they, you literally are, I get this effect of a mirror. Like, you know, when you're standing in front of a mirror, either you're, I don't know, putting on makeup or putting on an outfit or dancing, you see yourself in the mirror. So I really feel like they're mirrored. This makes me think back to a long time ago. They're a Korean dance crew named Prepix. I believe they do a choreography for idols now from my understanding. But the first thing that I've ever seen by Prepix, which impressed the hell out of me, was their mirror concept. And this is making me think of that. Yet, not only are they having this mirror concept, they're doing the opposite ways. So that's also very trippy to me. Because imagine if you see yourself in the mirror and you lift up your right hand and then your reflection lifts up the left. That's trippy. And um, that makes me feel like I'm going like crazy. Let's go back five seconds. It's so good. Like as the dancer, the female dancer move backward the way he moved forward, they move together so nicely like a team, turn around and then they go down at the same time. Like it's so, there's so much nice chemistry within the dancers and Jimin. How many times have I said that word here? This groove again, yes. Mm -hmm. And I love that now we have the female dancers in the back and then they're all doing the same choreography, but they're moving differently to go in and out. So that gives a nice 3D effect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The hips, the hips. Again, the whole duet on the side and all of a sudden, I love that they uh, set up for this part with the and then they go into the Yes, yes. See again. The musicality. Dun dun dun. Then they do this whole groove again. Seriously, Jimin makes heel toe heel toe something that's so simple, so awesome. And of course, I like that whole part where the uh, dancers are doing the choreography and Jimin's, you know, grooving on his own right here to have a big highlight moment. And then they all come through. Uh-huh. So I find that very interesting that first they're more spread apart and then they come back in, like they're more huddled closer to him. And Jimin is still uh, doing something differently from what they're doing, but they're all kind of, uh, their energy is vibing together. Yeah, I like that effect. And then the female dancers, and then the male dancers. He's at the end of the high of his substance of choice. We return right back to the middle. We return right back to solo feeling. He looks over his shoulder. It, it's so storytelling. Oh my gosh, like Jimin, this whole era, the set me free era, this light crazy era, he tells such a story. It gives such, not only a nice performance, but a good show for me to watch knowing what I know from the lyrics from both songs. And again, I really got to give shout out to the dancers for really performing, giving a nice show and a nice performance. They're not just doing choreography to just do choreography. They're performing with Jimin. And Jimin just being him, being so highlighted in his own swaggy way that I've always loved about him since the beginning of BTS. <sighs> yeah, I've been filming for a long time, but then again, it's for uh, the Jimin, so it makes sense. All right, y'all, well, we checked out my very lengthy reaction for Jimin's Set Me Free Part 2 and Like Crazy Dance Practices. Thank you so much. If y'all enjoy videos like this, where I go into full detail analysis about choreography, whether it's for Jimin, or any other idol, if you could do me this quick favor, scroll down below wherever you see the like button and hit the thumbs up ski because that not only helps my channel with the YouTube algorithm, but it also gives me a good idea and what y'all want to see here and what y'all don't really care to see here. I hope y'all have a great day and until the next video coming up, peace.